So, going into my senior year this year, I came in thinking 180 days left, and then I'm done. Well, joke's on me, college is a thing, and since money isn't just given to you, I think I'm going to have to go. Uh, so after the first three weeks of high school passed, I met with my counselor and she told me that graduating at the semester was an option. Um, my initial thought was like, oh, that's pretty cool, like half a school year, why not? And then as the conversation went on, I realized that I have yet to take the SAT, the ACT, really even think about where I want to go to college or if I wanted to, but clearly I'm going to go. Um, so after doing some applying, I have so far been accepted into four colleges and I quickly narrowed down to my top two. UND is number one and Indiana Tech is number two. Uh, the problem that came out of that was you became very opinionated at which should be my first pick and I appreciate the opinions but it has brought a lot of stress and pressure on me. I chose this topic because, because it is near and can potentially affect um, the major I want to go into, which is athletic training. Allowing me to choose will release the stress and pressure, help me with responsibility, but still have your help in making my decision. Now I will explain why it has been so stressful. So the stress and pressure added on by you being persistent on me going to Indiana Tech has become an issue. Going to Tech affects which major I can go into. Since I want to pursue athletic training, Tech would not be the best option since they have an alternative major for that. Anthea Ronan states that parental involvement when deciding on colleges is not always a positive experience. She believes that this involvement, parents can tend to persuade kids into going into majors, which is how I feel your involvement with pushing Tech on me is. I have to emphasize that forcing Indiana Tech in, into the top of my list adds stress and reduces my excitement on the situation. Now I'm going to address why it would be beneficial to go to Tech as you would like. So going to Tech, I would be with family because Colby goes there and we have family that lives up in Fort Wayne. And since my brother goes there, it'd be a lot cheaper, especially with the academic and athletic scholarships that are basically waiting. But on the other hand, going to UND, I'd be a lot closer to home since it's 45 minutes away um, I can apply for more scholarships and they have the major that I want to go into. But as said, both are great schools and I like them both. Both can benefit us. And next I'm going to talk about how this could be solved. I believe we can solve this issue by working together. An article on College Factual says to talk through what I am looking for and what I believe is in my best interest and to create a list, which I believe could help. The article also states to compare final offers and scholarships. Working together rather than against each other will make the process easier for the both of us. Now I'm going to talk about how this world would be better by this. Now just imagine if we worked together and weighed the pros and cons, how much simpler, less stress this decision would be for both of us. No stress, no pressure, no hostility on either side, it would be great. In conclusion, if we work together, take the opinions out of the process and focus on the facts we find, it will make choosing a college, it will make choosing where I want to go to college less stressful and remove the pressure. Keeping the opinions and asserting one college over the other on me will continue to be a not so fun experience. Weighing the pros and cons, taking both of our findings into consideration, into consideration will make it a lot easier. What I ask of you is to work with me, but allow me to make the final decision on where I want to go. You went through the same thing, right? <laughs>